Lord, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us thank the Lord for the gift of this day, for having protected us throughout the night and blessing us with the gift of this day. Let us thank Him for in and through the gift of life that you are able to enjoy all other gifts and we are here in His presence to be complete. It is in the presence of our Savior we are complete, we are total, we have no fear of anyone because we are who we are and the Lord knows us truly. So as loving children of our Savior, Jesus, let us praise Him, adore Him and worship Him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our Father in heaven, how we love you, how you love us, a new day unfolds and we desire that is, it is infused with our worship of you. Jesus, as we turn our eyes on the beauty of you, so our spirits lift and find peace. Jesus, please pour out your spirit upon us today so that we can worship you in fresh ways. Jesus, we humbly ask for a deeper relationship with you, so we can have a heightened awareness of God's presence in us. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we adore you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us continue to enjoy this moment with our Savior, Jesus. Let us open ourselves to Jesus. He is here to listen to us. Let us pour out our plans, our activities, our desires, all that we are going to do today. Let us tell Him all our plans and seek his guidance so that all that we do today all that we say today all that we think today may everything only bring glory to him let us enjoy this beautiful moments in the presence of Jesus My dear friends, today as we come before the Lord, let us bring before our Lord and surrender our children. Let us ask the Lord to touch them, to heal them. Let us bring before them, before our Lord. Especially praying for those children who are often, who have no one, who are exploited, who are misused, who are sold. We continue to pray for the youth who are jobless, who are brainwashed, 
who are seeking meaning in their lives who are searching for themselves in their lives who are thinking of committing suicides who are indulge in drugs in abortions we bring before the lord our youth our children as we are in the presence of the lord the lord is asking us at this moment to give me your children so that i can bless them i can touch them i can heal them and thus they become messengers of good news let us spend few moments in silence and bring before the lord this is the opportunity for us this is the moment for us wherein the lord himself is asking us to surrender our children let us then listen to what jesus is saying to us and give it into his hands our children our youth who require god's healing touch let us once again and continue to bring the children the youth before the lord in and through this him just like a child just like a child so we he cannot stand but who holds firm and tied his mother's hand just like a child who sings in bright daylight Fearing not the long dark night Your eye come O Lord Your eye come just like a child Your eye come O Lord Your eye come just like a child Let us now prepare ourselves to welcome the word of God. The word of God is our grace. The word of God is our strength. The word of God is our strength. The word of God is our light. Without the word of God, we will not be able to do what the Lord desires from each one of us. So as we are about to listen to the word of god let us open our hearts our minds to worthily receive the word of god and live our life according to thy word a reading from the gospel of matthew chapter 19 verses 13 to 15 Then little children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray but the disciples scolded those who brought them Jesus then said Let them be do not stop the little children from coming to me for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these So Jesus laid his hands on them and went his way the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters the passage makes us very clear that jesus wants to bless our children our youth and he in fact scolds the disciples who are becoming an obstacle and at the end Jesus before going his way he made it sure that he blessed the children and he prayed over them my dear brothers and sisters what is blocking me 
or what is blocking us to bring our children, our youth before the Lord. We take them to various places. But we feel ashamed or we feel shy to bring them before the Lord when we know that only the Lord can bless them. It is in only in and through the blessing of our Lord that our children and youth will be able to do what the Lord desires. Probably in today's world, what is blocking our children and our youth there are many things that hinders them in coming and experiencing God's love. It may be the addictions, it may be a wrong path, a wrong example, bad behavior, bad company. It can be anything. And we are aware because we see them. So today, the Lord is calling in a way to each one of us because we have known their obstacles and we have done nothing. The Lord is asking from each one of us only one thing. And He says to us, as He told the disciples, Do not stop them, let them come to Me. So, let us allow them to go to to Jesus. And how we can do that? We can do that in and through our prayer. When St. Augustine was on the wrong path, it was his mother, Monica, who prayed unceasingly. And it is in and through her prayer, he was able to come on the right path. And not only he became a saint, but also she. So dear friends, today the Lord is asking from us to make way for our children, to make way for our youth before the Lord, to introduce them our Savior Jesus, which we have not been doing that. So today as we are in the presence of the Lord, let us Bring them before the Lord, asking the Lord to touch them, to pray over them, to heal them. And the Lord is waiting to do just that. He's only waiting, when are we going to bring them to the Lord? So let us bring our children, our youth, in and through our prayer at this very moment. And one by one, surrender them to the Lord as He is waiting with His arms open wide to bless our children and prayer over them. Let us bring before them to the Lord at this very moment. In this journey of land, the season of grace, let us not forget to seek the assistance of our Heavenly Mother. Mary, our loving mother, let us ask her intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My dear friends, as I pray a healing prayer for our children and youth, I request you all to join in, to join and also bring before the Lord our children, our youth who are needing or seeking the Lord in their lives. Let us bring them before the Lord as I pray this healing prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, in your name, I now dissolve all parents of wounded children in our family lineage. Wash away in your precious blood all the hurting ways, absorptions, miscarriages, unwanted pregnancies, abortions, and unwelcomed babies born out of wedlock. I reject all habits of emotional and physical battering, abandonment and abduction of children. 
I say no more to all patterns of troubled birth and abnormal pregnancies. Lord, I ask your forgiveness on our forefathers who brought harm to their children by selling them into slavery or murdering them through ritual sacrifices. Wash their crimes clean in the blood of Jesus. I bring before you the youth who are on the verge of wrong path, who are caught up in the addictions of drugs. At this very moment, Lord, we bring before you each and every youth who requires your intervention, Lord. We surrender them into your loving hands, asking you to free them from the clutches of the evil. I come against all patterns of political and social injustice. I renounce all patterns of social and racial rejection. I break all ties of brutalizing and throwing people away. I come against all patterns of homelessness and hopelessness. I stand against all patterns of suffering from overwhelming conditions and harm climates like hunger, abandonment, betrayal and public shame. Father, send the oil of your Holy Spirit unto the children, unto the youth who are away from you, who are caught up in the evil. Free them. Free them, Lord, at this very moment. Free them from the clutches of evil. May they experience the breaking of the bondages and experience the freedom and freshness of your love father forgive them all especially those who cause great harm thank you lord jesus praise you lord jesus hado you lord jesus hallelujah 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 praise you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah 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 at this very moment jesus at this very moment jesus we bring before the you before you our youth and our children hallelujah 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 jesus jesus you know them touch them touch them jesus touch them heal them heal them relieve them lord from all the clutches of evil and the bondage hallelujah 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 we ask this in the name of Jesus amen let us pray heavenly father thank you for hearing our prayers both spoken and unspoken and for knowing our hearts even when we are not in prayer thank you also for desiring to communicate with us just as we desire to communicate with you through our prayers lord we trust that you will your word and your answer will be accomplished as we move through this lenten season please help us to desire above all things that your holy name be glorified thy will be done and that your kingdom come amen let us recite the prayer our father our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Let us prepare ourselves to receive God's blessings as we sing the benediction hymn. Let us go in adoration. Say